Welcome to Barry D's 80s music video of the day. I'm your host, Barry D, bringing you one 80s music video each and every day. You decide whether it's good or not. Join my Facebook page so you can get the latest episodes when they come out. And subscribe to my video channel so you can check out all my old episodes. Remember, this is a commentary. So first, I'm going to talk about the song, the group, and the video. And then the video will come up in the corner here. And you click on it and watch it. So let's get to it, 1985 and into 86. This is a song written and performed by American rock singer Bruce Springsteen in 1985. And it became the fifth single released from his 1984 album, Born in the USA. Now this song, it's a serious yet comical story of a man who now looks back on his so-called glory days and those people that he knew during high school. The lyrics in the first verse are autobiographical, being a recount of an encounter Springsteen had with a former Little League baseball teammate by the name of Joe DePew in the summer of 1973. An alternate mix of the song includes an extra verse in which the narrator's father worked in the Ford Auto Plant in Metuchen, New Jersey. For 20 years, he now spends most of his time in the American Legion Hall thinking about how he ain't never had glory days. Well, Springsteen realized that this verse really didn't fit with the song's storyline, so it got the axe. The music video for the song was shot in late May 1985 in New Jersey. It was directed by filmmaker John Sales, the third video he had done for the album. The baseball field scene was shot in Miller Park Stadium in West New York, New Jersey, the best part of New York. The field was an inside a city block surrounded by mostly homes. An intercut with these scenes was Springsteen and the E Street Band lip-syncing the song at a bar, and the bar performance scenes were filmed in Maxwell's in Hoboken, New Jersey. Here's some interesting stuff. Steven Van Zandt, he was invited to perform in this video even though he had left the band a year earlier. But to the two new members of the band, while not on the record, they were invited to be in it also. That's Niels Lofgren and Patty Scalfa. And they were featured along with Springsteen's then-wife, Julianne Phillips, who made a cameo appearance at the baseball field at the end. Well, that wasn't going to work out well later on, having the future wife and the current wife in the same video, huh? Who thinks of that, right? Mid-June 1985, the video hit MTV and went into heavy rotation. The music video received two MTV Music Award nominations. Best Male Video, rightfully losing to Robert Palmer's Addicted to Love. And Best Overall Performance, losing to David Bowie and Mick Jagger for Dancing in the Streets. I'll argue that one. By the way, that was the 1986 MTV Music Video Awards. Clips of New York Mets pitcher Dwight Gooden striking out a couple of batters in real games appear in the video. Let's do the countdown. U.S. Mainstream Rock and Ireland, number three. U.S. Billboard Hot 100, number five. Netherlands, number six. Belgium, number 15. U.K. Singles and Canada, number 17. Italy, number 18. Switzerland, 19. Sweden, 20, South Africa, 24, Austria, number 25, West Germany. When there was a West Germany, number 27, Australia, number 29, and New Zealand, number 34, all in the top 40. So how do you see Bruce Springsteen today? If you so choose, you're going to click on that video right up over there, okay? If that video doesn't show up there, right down here, it's going to say direct link to the music video. Just click on that link just below there. It'll take you right to it. But... Here he is in all his glory days, Bruce Springsteen. Check him out, and I'll see you tomorrow.